dysgeminoma now they are the germ cell tumors of the ovary and dysgeminoma is the ovarian counterpart of seminoma of the testes these tumor occur in childhood however 75% are seen in the second or third decade of life these tumors occur in patients with gonadal dysgenesis including pseudo hermaphroditism most of these tumors have no endocrine function but a few tumors have elevated levels of chorionic gonadotrophin and they have sensitotrophoblastic giant cells they account for about 2% of all ovarian cancers and form about half of malignant germ cell tumors one of the most common ovarian neoplasm which is seen in pregnancy pure or mixed with other malignant germ cell components most of the patients have elevated serum lactic dehydrogenase and isoenzyme 1 which may be used as a tumor marker occasionally some tumor produces hcg level manifesting with iso sexual precocious puberty and menstrual irregularities like seminoma dysgeminoma also express oct3 and oct4 with nanog protein these transcription factors are important in maintenance of pluripotency they also express the receptor tyrosine kinase secret these proteins are useful diagnostic markers and may serve as a therapeutic target gross features they are unilateral in 80 to 90% of cases they are solid to soft tumor their size range from visible nodule to masses that fill the entire abdomen with an average diameter of 15 cm more often bilateral in patient with gonadal dysgenesis external surface is smooth and grayish white cut surface is lobulated grayish white with hemorrhage and necrotic areas giving it yellow to pink color it is important to sample the tumor extensively to exclude other germ cell elements with variegated and cystic areas because the prognosis and the treatment of the tumor is totally different when other germ cell elements are present Microscopic features the dysgeminoma cells are large rounded with abundant clear glycogen rich cytoplasm which are separated by fibrous stroma with lymphocytic infiltration these cells are uniform in size and shape present in clusters nests and cords the nuclei are centrally placed they are large rounded and vesicular with clumped chromatin and one or more prominent nucleoli there are frequent mitoses necroses and hemorrhages non caseating granulomata and multinucleated giant cells and also sensitotrophoblastic giant cells may be present frequently dysgeminomas they combine with other germ cell tumors forming mixed germ cell tumors calcification when present suggests the presence of a gonadoblastoma so it is seen that small nodules of dysgeminoma may be present in the wall of an otherwise benign cystic teratoma or on the other hand a predominantly dysgeminomatous tumor may contain a small cystic teratoma immunohistochemistry placental alkaline phosphatase that is plap and ymentin positive cytokeratin is usually negative ema negative ps demonstrates glycogen rich cytoplasm of tumor treatment and prognosis these tumors are treated with surgery and radiation but the recurrence are treated with chemotherapy metastatic spread is late first through lymphatics and later on by blood vessels to the liver lungs and bone five year survival rate for a pure tumor in stage 1 ranges from 90 to 95% proper sampling of the submitted tissue is extremely important to exclude a mixed germ cell tumor because the pure dysgeminoma and mixed germ cell tumor have got different prognosis now this photograph shows gross appearance of dysgeminoma you can well appreciate yellowish tan brown homogeneous appearance with areas of hemorrhages and necroses This is the photograph showing microscopic features of dysgeminoma in which you can see clear cells which are present in groups sheets and tubules they have got rounded nucleus with 
prominent one or two nucleoli these cells are separated by a thin fibrous tissue septa containing lymphocytic infiltration